はい皆様こんにちはこんばんはヒロです、えー、今日は、えー、先日あヒロですちょっと眩しいんでサングラスしてますけどえっ、ー、と先日、えー、予告した通りボスの、えー、GX100 を実際にですね見ようと思って知り合いの方が、えー、店長を務める楽器屋に来ました、えー、ここで実際に触ってみたいと思いますでは今日はねアポも事前にアポ取ってあるので大丈夫だと思うんですけどでは行ってみます行ってきますよいしょ<笑>えー、とここがですね知り合いの,そのさっきのねスコットっていう博物の年はちょっと上ぐらいなんですけどね彼の、えー、が店長してる店で、まあ、僕のテイストをちゃんとしててブラックスターがたくさんあってですね、まあ、フェンダーがあって。でまあブラックスターこれね用意してくれてますねマーシャルがあってという非常にね5150があってすごくねいいセレクションですよねうんという感じですねうん多分ねこの部屋を貸してくれると思うんですよねこれなんか気に入ったら買わなきゃいけないムードかな大丈夫かなまあでも結構見た目はすごくいい感じがしてですねあまあまあちょっとまあ、トライしてみましょう。ね、いずれにしてもね、用意されてますね。いいですね。うん。You know, I'm sorry, but I went to the guitar center and in somewhere the other state, but they don't have the stock. And they say t h e s t o c k in、uh, where is that? Minnesota or Kansas?
these knobs. Did you read the manual? No. I did not, but I watched a training video. Oh, that's good, 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 good. Yeah. So, um, there are preset and user. Um, user, they're all editable, mm -hmm. but you can only save the user patches if you've edited ah, okay. Um So, you've always got those 25 banks of patches yeah. that are factory preset. It's the same thing. And even if you yeah. screw everything mm -hmm. else up, mm -hmm. you can always run home to that mm -hmm. and then use that. To, yeah, that's fair and very normal. Yep. Um, it is set up in, in kind of preset mode. Now, so 013, 014. Uh, this is your tuner. Okay, so there's your input and output. Yeah, I'll just flat all that. Yeah. Just horse like a kissy one point. And then you've got these are your parameters here. So mm -hmm. if you want to edit, mm -hmm. just press it. And there's your amp gain. Mm -hmm. You know, there's your bass treble. Um, and there are ways to way, way, way deep dive all of these six, six. things. Deep dive to like really get in and and adjust the effects uh -huh. as much as you want to adjust them. It's, it, it's I think number one is, you know, the normally, uh, generally speaking, is number one preset is the maker's, you know, like uh, highlights. Yeah, that's, like, that, like that first that, song on the album. The same yep, thing. They, they, they put it on patch one for a reason. So. Go get a little more volume. What's cool? Here's your. This is your effects chain. Okay. Right. So this is everything it's that you changeable, got. switchable. Right. Um, you can drag and drop. Uh -huh. You want to put something in a different place. Uh -huh. Do you want to delete it? Uh, so now, as the line doesn't have the overdrive, so oh, yeah. If you want to yeah, overdrive, it, put all anywhere in the chain that you want. I mean, typically you would. Where, Where's the uh, amp? Uh, oh, amp is here. Yep. It should be back. It should be back to the noise suppressor, maybe? How can I change my stuff? Oh. Yeah, and then that, there's all your parameters that you can use. And I'll scroll through all the different models. Kind of a kind of flat 
still want you deep. You need the more prudence. What about equalizing on M? Or EQ would be separate EQ, yeah. Maybe yeah. go to the next screen. I get prudence, like they have small edges. No, that one I don't. I know that trick. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you take something out of the chain, it's going to ask you to say, Are you sure you really have to do that? Distortion. Distortion. Yeah. Distortion pipe. It's really kind of best of both worlds. I've mm. I've always kind of shied away mm -hmm. from the whole touchscreen algorithm kind of thing, but it's cool because you still got your knobs. You know, because when you're like you're doing a an EQ, maybe what you really want to hear is somewhere in between seven and eight, mm -hmm. but you can only choose seven or eight. With a knob, you can dial it just where you want to do Like I said, you can still like go way deep into the effects mm -hmm. and do tons of editing and tweaking. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it. I think they give you a pretty good palette to start with, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of finding something that's close to what you like, mm -hmm. and then tweaking it and getting it exactly the way you want so, <laughs> and then saving it uh -huh. and then when you save it you can save it to any one of these locations mm -hmm. uh, there's also kind of like uh, the old manual mode mm -hmm. where if you want to set it up like these are four pedals you can do like distortion on and off mm -hmm. compression on and off mm -hmm. modulation on and off delay on yeah, and off um, and, and also you can, the patch right right or you can do it as presets mm -hmm. which is Preset mode. where it is now. So, so this have um, how many modes? Like preset mode, manual mode, maybe two modes? Yeah, that's it. But but within the mm -hmm. manual mode, uh -huh. where you've got like each one works like a separate pedal, uh -huh. um, you can still assign more than one function to that pedal. Uh -huh. So it's almost like having this is a little mini multi effects processor. This can be one that, or you could just go through like you're doing now and just find that. It's like, okay, that sounds great. That's my main crunch sound. I'm going to save that to Bank One Patchwork. And then you find your clean sound. It's like, okay, yeah, I like that. I'm going to save that to Bank One Patch too. And you 
got 25 banks of four packages in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I still play my, my Jacksons and my Charvels, um, but I tell people all the time, you know, if they just, if they all just went away and you could never buy a uh-huh. Jackson or Charvel uh-huh. again, I'd, I'd be playing Ibanez. Yeah. Now, there are a couple of Ibanezes I've come real, real close to buying. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, brother. Yeah. These are uh, these uh, are progressive lenses now. Yeah. I'm throwing the mouth focus. <laughs> <laughs> four, four, four twenty one. Four twenty one. Yeah. So four twenty one. It's kind of a mid range. Yep. That's good. The prestige stuff is really really nice. It's, it's yeah. expensive, but uh huh. It's really but nice. enough to be three fifty. Yeah. Same as the GT1000? It is, it is. It's the mm-hmm. it's the brain out of the GT1000 mm-hmm. for about half the price, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, it, the GT1000 has more output routing options. You've got XLR out. This is all quarter inch out. Yeah, this is has, um, I couldn't see. Uh, how so you got, you got quarter inch left and right out uh-huh. so if you run the stereo uh-huh. rig. What about um, send return? Uh, yes, it does. Mm. And a ground lift. Um, it's MIDI capable, but the GT1000's got XLR. So if you're running straight into a board, mm. you can run XLR into mm. it. And there's a few other differences, but as far as the sounds, the, the, the patches, out, it's, uh, it's the GT1000 for mm. a lot less money. So I think the GT1000 is like 1200 bucks now. Yeah, it's quite a few days. Mm-hmm. So, what, how about Vuitton? Uh, I'd be trying to, yeah. uh, to go push volume all the way down. Yeah, because we're still going through the preamp on that too. So. So yeah. Return that is more. We want to do. I'm going to start it on the minus 10 dB and just see how that does. Minus 10 dB. There, there's a plus 4 and minus 10 well, on the effects return. No, no, flat. No, uh, it's, it's one or the other. Mm. I think. Maybe plus means like a high EPS. Yeah. It's kind of minus. Let's try it. Okay, let's try the sound. Okay. Effect sweep on or off button, so should be and we're in the return right now. Signal. 
we were getting it into the front end so we know that all this is working. Yeah, it's cutting back to the front. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, if you've got all your EQ flat on the front, then mm -hmm. you're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, you do effects. That's your effects power. How to change the uh, patch number? Maybe back to uh, uh, maybe exit. Exit. Yeah. And then you just swipe. swipe. Or bank number. Wait, this is you got bank one, so now you're on bank oh. two. You got 25 banks with four patches per bank. 24, 24 bank. And 25, 25, I think. 25 and four, four each. each. So 100. 100. Yeah. 100 preset, 100 factory. Right. Which the users are just all dupes of the factory presets, but you can edit and save the user presets. Where mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can't, ed you can edit the factory ones, but you can't save them. Mm -hmm. so. If, if, if we want to back to the kind of previous setting right. or kind of the backup right. from proceed. That's pretty sound clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean. <laughs> ちょっと全部出してもらうと多分申し訳ないぐらい大変だと思うんで、とりあえずあの 1番 えっと、アセンブされてないな。アンプをもってきて、えっと、ディストーションを入れてすると、ディストーションタイプ、これをね、例えばガバナにしますよね。ディレイ、ディレイ、コーラス、コーラス、ディレイってどれなんだろうな。これは結構あった。ディレイ。ディレイを、ディレイじゃないな。リバーブ。リバーブ。リバーブを入った。こう入ってるのかな。リバーブ
リバーブ入れるじゃないですか。下げますエフェクトいいのかフィードバックを減らしますすぎいいんだけど複雑すぎうんもうちょっとなんかうん。
の種類を変えてみましょう。アンプの種類を変える。アンプのタイプを、どうやって変えるのかなこれジャズクイーンです。デラックスコンボ。これね、まずね、まずディストーションを消さなきゃいけない。で、アンプの種類にして。しますね、あのー、いいんだけどおもちゃとしては楽しいんですけど入ってるエフェクターの種類がちょっと偏ってるって言ったら悪いんですけどそんな気がしてですねちょっとやりにくいかなっていう気はしますね。うーんマーシャル系にしますよねマーシャルにしてこれかマーシャル系だと思います。<音楽>ブースト的に使ってみましょう。よいしょ。この間あの私のビデオでこうあったじゃないですか。こうね、えー、クランチを作っておいてブーストして音を作る。でこの今回はこのパターンですね。入ってるアンプがマーシャルとかでいわゆるハイゲインっていうでランプがちょっと見えないので。であれば、えーとまあ、マーシャルって大体入ってますからあえてジャギジャギの音にしたものをブーストを使ってオーバードライブのブースト、えー、ブースターとしてが入ってない場合はオーバードライブを入れてドライブをとにかく下げますそれによって音がブーストしますでこれもオーバードライブのタイプからあと、ね、TS があったらいいんだけどなあったあったうん。
Was there anything Mesa? Yeah, Mesa. Yeah. 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 That's all. Uh, Trying to decide if I'm gonna so, yeah. drop some money and get a JP2C uh -huh. Mesa whenever they hit the market again. You can't find them right now, but uh -huh. um, I got a little money coming next couple of months, and uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm thinking really hard about doing it. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, because my friend told me. Ask me and how to make the sound this combination between amp and overdrive pedal. Mm -hmm. You know, the combination is very important, isn't it? Yep, like, sure. uh, Marshall is so much crunch sound, have to be put on the booster, like this. Right, right. Do not put on the distortion because of crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's too much. Uh -huh, yeah. Too much is uh, so much noise. So now I selected Marshall. Should be is British mm -hmm. and the uh, DS tube, tube screen. Yeah. There's also there's some way I can't remember how to get to it, but there's a way somewhere in like the output routing mm -hmm. where you can tell it what you're plugging it into, whether you're going like straight into a mixer or into the front uh, end of a tube amp yeah, uh, or uh, into uh, a solid state or yeah. into a return yeah i think this, there's, this there's somewhere has, in there you can adjust that yeah, and set it I to however this, you're using yeah it. this one should have kind of output options isn't yeah. it? i think so remember how um uh, maybe you know kind of going to the scene or go over here oh here uh, uh, yeah outside output yeah. select yeah there you go um, no it's lying out that's your output from mm -hmm. here to the amp, and mm -hmm. you just tell it. Here's a line now. What about amp head? Well, I was seeing if there was, because we've got a 212, so I'm seeing if there's one for that. Mm -hmm. So, tube stack 412, that's going to be. Mm, well, that changed it. <laughs> so much change. <laughs> what about the next one? Is return. Speaking like a 50 50, 
Yeah. It, it, it does a lot. I like that uh -huh. it's super it's easy to uh, yeah easy to tweak the kind, like kind of well. mm -hmm. but like any of those, it's gonna you got to go through that getting to know it period yeah, yeah, yeah. and Ooh. figuring out how to make it do exactly what you hear in your brain. Uh huh. In the meantime, I have uh, I own Ted Russian MX5. Its size is very small, right? But a very easy operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like a, a program. Uh, the program wise is so much simpler. Right. Mm. Uh, uh, yes and no. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel <laughs> you, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Huh. Okay, thank you, thank you. That was so fun. Enjoy. Yeah, I mean, take your time. If you want to play around a little bit more, you, you play around. I just wanted to poke my head back in. and. Yeah, okay, so can I sit around the store? By the way, sure. so, let me count on. Interesting guitar too. <laughs> it's this one better than <laughs> you know. I, I can't stop purchasing guitars. And I think uh, my I currently have more than 20, 25 maybe in my okay. house. That's about that's about where my peak hit. You know, yeah. You know? And then I sold off some pieces, and uh -huh. I, I'm down to. I mean, if you count like acoustic and a bass, and uh -huh. you know, yeah. uh, I've got a couple of acoustics now. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking of like 14, 15 instruments, and that that does everything that mm -hmm. I need them to do. But that being said, you know, I still, <laughs> you know, I work here and we get a Charvel yeah. or something, and I'm like, uh -huh. man, uh, yeah. I came really close to buying <laughs> a, um, a DK24 Sassafras, what and then that? I wound up buying. Um, <laughs> DK25 means Jackson? Uh, Charvel. Oh, Charvel. Charvel I've never owned. But but then I wound up um, I wound up buying some recording stuff instead. Mm -hmm. I bought an Apollo interface mm -hmm. and, and uh, some software and all that kind of stuff, which I still haven't really figured out how to use yet. Mm -hmm. um, which will probably in the long run will get more use out of than <laughs> another guitar in yeah. the rack. So. Mm -hmm. It's but I came pretty close. I like that. Guitar. Yeah, it's good. And just let me ask a quick question. Uh, your store has online shopping, right? Yes, and absolutely. What about ship to Japan? Is it possible or just only domestic US? Because uh, my my for my friends in Japan. Yeah, sure, sure, so sure, sure. If they I, you know, let me call my warehouse guy. I, I don't know the answer mm -hmm. to that, but I can uh, no, find no, out. No, right now, no, right now. So yeah. I'm, I'm just, uh, I mean, yeah. let me find out. It's a good question. Uh huh. ね、せっかくこうやって場所提供してくれたのであこ,こっちかなせっ,せっかくこうね場所提供してくれたのであのやっぱりねもし海外日本からの購入でこうシップしてくれるとかでねもしそういうサービスもあればいいと思ってあのちょっと一応ね聞いてみました本当にね彼はね何十年ぐらいの付き合いですかねもっとかな15年ぐらいかなずっと彼は楽器屋さんで働いてて僕最初に行ったお店の、えーまあ、中古屋さんの楽器にたまたま出会ってで僕がラウドネスを弾いた時に「あ知ってるぜラウドネス」って言われてそこから意気投合したんですねもうだから15年来ですねお互い年取っちゃって50代になっちゃいましたけど<笑>ねなんか懐かしいなと思ってますねいいですねやっぱりこういうやっぱりこういう世界で生きていくのいいですねいや本当にねここはいい店ですよあの僕の大好きなお店ですね、まあ、まさにねこう弾けるんですよねブースがあってこうですねうんまあ本当にねいい友達ですよねこういうあのいいな Yeah I'm waiting for Scott He's back <laughs> oh, you're the one looking at this thing. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to wow. tr try this one. Uh, we had a tr like a, a session on these the other day. These uh -huh. are really, really how, crazy. How, did you try this before? But I haven't tried it myself. I just saw the videos of it and stuff. Uh, it's yeah. got a touch screen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Which is uh -huh. a big game changer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah Scott, Scott knows a lot more about it. There he is. That thing's really easy. 
easy to, to get around. Yeah. Uh, we do not ship international. Ah. Okay. Now, I think there are some third party companies that they will make the purchase on your behalf uh -huh. and then they will ship to you. Um, I, I did that a couple of times at Music Around with um, mm -hmm. the guy in Australia wanted to buy a trombone, you know, and we didn't ship internationally, but there was a company like in Colorado <laughs> that they buy it uh -huh. and then ship it and then they charge. I see, person, I see, you know, I see, okay, so, okay. But we do not ship direct international. So. so far, okay, in the future maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Know. I mean, it's it's an online world. Mm -hmm, yeah. These days, so uh -huh. our website sells a ton of gear. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so enjoy. So let me think about it. But mm, maybe, <laughs> you know, I'll um, it'll be here, and because I brought that over from the Marietta store, so mm -hmm. I can I can keep it here at least until Friday. Maybe. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, just I, and I'll be off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, just you know, and if if you want one, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If not, you got to play. Yeah. Cool piece of gear. So yeah. learn something about it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you want to take a lap or? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this guy back up. Thank you. Well, cool, brother. Thank take, you. Take your let, lap. Let me hug. Absolutely. Let me hug. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. It was so good to see you. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, if you just, like I said, this thing will be here for a couple of days. If you decide you want it, let, let me know. If not, okay. It's no big deal. It's okay. Just, I'm, I'm more. はい、えー、いかがだったでしょうか、えー、とですね、えー、撮ってきました、あのー、確かに実物を触ってみてねやっぱちょっと時間が足りないなっていうこととあそうだなあとはちょっと僕もビデ,オビデオ見直さないとよくわからないぐらいいっぱいいっぱいこう触っていろいろやったんであれなんですけどうーん、まあ、率直な感想としてはねすごくいい第一印象すごくいい良かったんですけどちょっとねセッティング項目が多すぎて複雑になりすぎてるかなっていう気がしますそれからビデオの中でも言ってたかと思うんですけど音のオプションがちょっと少なすぎて例えばアンプの系統もちょっと偏ってるというか、えー、まあふいわゆる新しいアンプがあんまり追加されてない古いトラディショナルのねマーシャルジャズコーメサブギマッチレスオレンジってなんかその辺がメインなんですよでそれ以降に出た例えばバンヘレンの5150とかそういったものは入ってないしちょっとあの何て言うんだろう言葉は悪いですけどそのままロジックが止まってるのかなというかちょっと、うん、もっと新しい最近流行りのアンプとかも入ってもいいんじゃないかなと思いましたで合わせてエフェクターもやっぱりねすごくトラディショナルなディストーション系とか TS セとかマーシャルガバナーとか入ってるんですけどプロコラットとかでもそれって昔の ME の時から変わってないんですよねだからもっともっとねいろいろその後に出た JHS とかねそういうのももっと出ていいと思うんですよだからちょっとねアンプとエフェクター、歪み系の種類が止まってるっていう感じがしましたね、まあ、それゆえ、ちょっと今日はどうもやっぱりですね、このホットボタンっていう,い,ういわゆる触手が伸びなかったところがあって、うん、多分ですね、まあ、彼、またあれだったら、よっといでっていう感じだったんですけど、まあ多分これは買わないかな、僕の中でですよ。と思いましたっていうのがやっぱり他のヘッドラッシュとかやっぱり素晴らしいのでねちょっとうーん今回は見送りかなという気はしてますはいまたこんな感じでね実際にお店さんに来てみていろいろやってみたいと思いますのでまた何かあればコメントとかですねあの残していただければあのー、とても参考になりますし僕としてもやりがいやりがいがあるっていうかやることがたくさん出てきて楽しいなと思いますのでぜひあのー、そのようにコメントですね残していただけるとありがたいと思います、えー、最後まで見ていただきどうもありがとうございました、えー、ぜひチャンネル登録とグッドボタンの方よろしくお願いしますそれからあのー、まあ、もしねあの良ければぜひですね友達に私のビデオを紹介してくださいシェアしてください助かりますそれでは今日はここでということでヒロでしたバイバイ